So now that we can create records in our MongoDB database, something else we need to do is find a way to search our records. And we can use model.find to search through our collection to find the, and return the records that match a specific query. So what I've done here is in the um, MongoDB Atlas Manager, I've just clicked insert document and I've created some records right here. So let's say we want to return all the results of people named Chris. So the first thing you do is you call this find method on the model. And if you look up here, we call the model um, person right here. That was done in part two. So we can call the find method on the person model. So we can do something like person.find like this. And um, this function, this takes in two arguments. Well, at least two that we need to know now. So the first is an object with our query inside it. And for example, if I was searching um, for all the records with the name of Chris, I would just simply put the query in like this. So the name is equal to Chris like this. So this means it returns anything where the name field right here matches the Chris. And again, because we're calling this on the person, it'll be executed on the people collection right here. The second argument is this runs kind of asynchronously. So we need an argument, we need a function to run when this is completed. And again, this will take in error and data like this. And what we can do is, if there's an error, we should log the error just in case, um, and we can figure out what went wrong. And otherwise, so we should only do this if error is null. So if error doesn't exist, we can log the data, and we can have a look at what we get back. So again, this will filter and find the people with the name field of Chris, and then it will run this function where it will log the data if there's no error. So. If we do node myapp.js, and just it'll take some time for this to execute, but we can see that we've returned an, the results here as an array of objects, and we have the two entries with the name of Chris that have been converted into JavaScript objects for us. Now, if I wanted to attach another query to this, because we have two Chris's here, we want to find the Chris that has the age of uh, 42. So what we can do here is simply just add another entry to our query. So we can say age 42 like this. And this will accept um, any like um, types, sorry, any keys and values that are in um, our schema that we defined before. So if we run this again now, and wait for it, we can see that just the Chris with the age of 42 has been returned this time. So we can use these to just filter our results and get whatever we want back. So what they want us to do is, in this find people by name function that they've written here, it'll take in a person's name, and we want to basically um, uh, find the array of results for that, and we want to um, pass it into this done function as this data right here. And then this in the server.js, what it will do is it will like look at that data and if there's an error, it'll log it. Otherwise, it'll look at the data and then do something with it to test. But the, anyway, that's not important for us. So we have the person name right here. So this is the what will be used in the name query. So what we can do is run person.find and inside this, we can put um, name, and then we can give it this person name right here. And that's everything really we need for this part. Next, we have the function to run once this is completed, and it'll take in an error and this data right here. But I'm going to define this data a bit better, so I'm just going to call this array of results. And inside this function, once again, if there was an error, we want to just console log the error. And if, if this isn't the case and the error field is null, then we want to continue. And what we can do is call this done function here. And again, we give it null as the first argument. And the reason we give it null as the first argument is that um, whenever we're doing one of these um, functions like this, it takes in an error and a data here. And then if there's an error, it just returns the error and it'll stop there. So we want to make sure the error is null so that this part doesn't execute. So 
in here we do null like this and then we give it the array of results so that should be okay now so what i'm going to do is just comment this out i could have just copied and pasted it but once again what this function will do is it'll take in a person's name then it'll use that name in a filter or a query to execute a find command on this people array right here and it will then if there was no error pass the array of results to the done function which will then validate our test so that should be everything for this one so we can just copy this and paste it into here and try running it and yeah that's worked